Ahoy mateys and welcome back to a new tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up Super Smash Bros Ultimate on Sudachi. Or let's see how long this lasts. Start off by downloading the emulator. Make sure to download the Sudachi Windows zip file. See link below. Use a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR to unpack the contents to a location on your computer. Run the program. Now we need to install the prod keys. I cannot show you any locations online for this information. Go to Tools, then install Decryption Keys. Navigate to your Keys folder, select the prod keys, and then Open. Click OK. Now we need to install the firmware updates. This is also something I cannot show you any locations for. Go to Tools, Install Firmware. Locate your firmware folder and click Select Folder. Now go back to your directory and create a new folder called ROMs. Copy the Super Smash Bros Ultimate ROM into this location. Then go back to the main directory and run Sudachi. Click on Add Directory, navigate to your ROMs folder and select Folder. Should see your game pop up. Go back to your directory and create another folder called DLC. Copy all your DLC files into this location. Then go back to the main directory and create a folder called Updates. Copy the update file to this location. At the filming of this video, the last update was 13.0.4. Go back and run Sudachi. Click on File, then select Install Files from NAND. Locate your DLC folder and install all your DLC files. Go back to File, then Install Files from the NAN. Navigate to your Update folder and then click on your Update. Install. OK. Right click on the game and go to Properties. You should now see your update and all your DLC files. Let's take a look at some settings. Go up to Emulation, then Configure. Under the Graphics tab, make sure everything looks the same as mine. Pause the video if needed. Now go to the Controls tab, select the Pro Controller in the drop-down, and make sure your input device is set to your controller. It will auto-configure all your buttons. If you need to change anything, just click on the box and change your buttons. Also, if you want more than one controller, click on any other player and configure each controller. Make sure to click the Connect Controller button for each one. OK. And that's it. You're ready to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on Sudachi. Wish I could show you how this game looks on Sudachi, but unfortunately, I can't. Or oh, they have spies with many eyes. If you like this video and want to see more, super punch the like button, roundhouse the subscribe button, and body slam the bell for future video notifications. Until next time, buckos, it's the arcade part, selling out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.